Hey guys, welcome back to the next Omega Labs War Recap. My name is Brock, and today I'm delighted to bring you another victory. This came immediately after our 100th war win, and this was not a tough, this was not an easy opponent. They are a fair play clan from Denmark, and they were on a 5 war win streak. They had 198 wins, and we denied them 199. Uh, their clan name is a bit difficult to pronounce. I learned that it is based off of the word Snapain. A Snapain was a member of a 17th century pro-Danish guerrilla organization that fought against the Swedes in the Second Northern and Scanian Wars. So that's a pretty cool uh, clan name there. Uh, these guys are definitely fierce warriors. Uh, so I'll show you what they did to our bases. Uh, we had four Town Hall 11s. They two-starred three of them. Uh, Dylan gave them some trouble. Uh, we had four Town Hall 10s that they two-starred, and a 9.5 that they were able to three-star with their Town Hall 11. No, ten, no Town Hall 10 three-stars for them. They cleared almost all of our Town Hall 9s, however they were not able to clear Miko. They even had a fail to nuke. I'm not sure what happened there, but that was pretty heroic defense right there. If you look at our side, we two starred, there are three Town Hall 11s. We three starred one of their Town Hall 10s with a Town Hall 11 nuke, which I'll show first. And we had a fresh Town Hall 10 uh, three star. They had one 9.5 that we nuked, and we cleared the rest of their 9s. So great job from our 9s, really awesome job. Alright, so I'll just jump straight into it with the uh, three star by Cassie. So Mr. Cassie's gonna start with the Queen Walk out here in the northwest. I'll fast forward a little bit just for the sake of brevity. He brings in a few hogs for the CC lure, which with the queen will handle just fine with that poison. Rages just to be safe because she's got the can and a drag on her. Also to help her just, you know, clear stuff out quicker. Now he's got his Valks coming in from the northeast, as well as the king. The healers are going to peel off the queen and join the Valks, which is always pretty useful. Tome helps a little bit. I'll slow down just a sec here. Uh, he freezes the Inferno with some hogs. Hogs didn't quite work out the way he wanted, but it doesn't really matter because the Queen's going to take out the Inferno. Healer is still helping out some Valks there. He's got some clean of minions on the way. Those Valks are doing just fine. Got healers healing them sporadically. Speeds up a little bit because really most of the base is wrecked at this point. All he really needs is those Valks to circle around while the Queen cleans up on the inside. Healers are keeping those everything up no problem. And that base got wrecked. Nice job, Cassie. Alright, next up, that fresh Town Hall 10 on Town Hall 10 triple by Daquan Kush. So he's basically just, you know, Queen Walk, Mass Valk attack with a couple hogs plus, I believe, CC hogs. Drops that Queen Hawk, Queen Walk in the northwest. Used a funnel wizard on that hut. Only took out the hut though. Uh, used a quake to soften the core. That'll help the Valks clear it quicker. Queen's gonna walk the right way. Let's f speed this up a little bit. Uses some CC luring hogs again, just like Cassie, and a poison and rage. This clan like their uh, their witch CCs as well as their dragons. All right, here come the Valks. After he funneled that army camp in the south, they're gonna jump to the core. Most of them, at least, a couple of them peel off the outside, which actually helps, just you know, for, for cleanup purposes, helps the BK along. So Rage and Heal, 
Vox take out Inferno, Queen finishes off the other one. Now he's got some hogs coming in from the north. Uh, his Valk's kind of died out in, in the core, but the Queen's still up, but she's got this healer on her, which is actually going to help her a lot. Uh, the Hogs, they kind of died out a bit, but they did enough work to pretty much dismantle this base. There's really not much left that can threaten this attack. There's a cannon and a wizard tower and an archer tower, and that's about it. So the healer's slowly bringing the Queen back to full health. Valk's are cleaning up on the outside. BK is in good shape. Wizard Tower is not going to be a problem. And now it's just, you know, quick cleanup on the Archer Tower and Mortar. So, very nice job from Daquan. Alright, going down to our first Town Hall 9 triple. This was from Sigma. He didn't, did not have a 6 star war, but this was a very nice quick attack. And. We had a lot of ground attacks in this war, so I wanted to show an air attack. Alright, so he's going to start from the north, uh, Shattered Laloon, using some funneling whiz and minions that'll clear that cannon. Queen and King drop down, wall breaks in, jumps to connect actually three air defenses, a sweeper, CC, and the Queen, so very strong value right there. Dragon's going down. It's already got one air defense down. And the queen. Queen's going to take out that sweeper. Now he's coming in with his law loon. Haste in to get it in there quickly. Loons are going to take out that first air defense quickly as well. Pops queen ability. She takes out the BK. He's got a Tesla farm to deal with down south, but the Rage is going to let those loons deal with that. Not really an issue. His hounds are still doing okay over in the west. Uh, that last air defense is going to go down pretty quickly once these hasted loons get in there. And after that, there's no threat. Everything's dead. He's still got a hound up. All these loons, he didn't really lose that many. He only brought 12. And he's just got to clean up all over the base. This base got wrecked. Awesome job, Sigma. Sigma. Alright, next up is Man Myth Legend, or MML, on 15. He had a 6 Star War. This is a fresh Govaho. Starting up north. Pretty wide funnel. You're gonna see those golems are pretty far apart. All breaks in to the west with the queen to follow, helping with DPS. CC Hound, not really that threatening these days with Govaho. Um, so you'll see he heals those Valks and then rages them. It takes them a while to get going, but once they do, those Valks just tear through this base. They dismantle all the major threats. So with the core of the base gutted, he's free to send in some northern hogs, relatively untouched. CC hogs are a nice touch, they're helping get through that wizard tower, um, the archer tower and cannon as well. Well his heroes, his beefy 30-30 heroes deal with the rest of the base. So everything is down at this point, and he hasn't even used his heal. So he just swagged heal to base. He Sorry, he's swagged to heal. Uh, he's got clean of wizards. You know, several hogs still up. Queen still up. BK and Valks. No problem. Very nice job. Alright, next up we're showing Unix. This is a fresh AQ Walk Govaho. And he did not have his Barb King. As I mentioned in the first recap, we don't require having both heroes in labs. So very impressive pulling this off. So he's starting with the queen walk out east. He's having a whiz funnel, hoping that she'll wrap around, headed up north. Speed this up a little bit. He's got that nice hog lure for the dragaloon. Queen's going to take care of that with the poison. 
Passive ability, just to save the rage, play it safe. Poison helps queen take care of the enemy queen. Now that she's safe, he's starting with his southern deployment. With his Valx and Golem. Doesn't really need his BK for that, because the Valx and the Golem are just tanky enough as is and provide a lot of DPS. Checking on the queen, she's still safe up there, nothing threatening her. As these Valx just rage through the core of this base. Sends in some Eastern Hogs to help support his Valks while they tank. He's got one heal left he's going to use on that Expo, I believe. Yeah. Luckily there's no Double Giant Bomb there. He could have made Bacon. But I guess that was a gamble he had to take. It paid off. So the Hogs are dying off a little bit, but he's still got a big chunk of them left. It's only a cannon and Tezza left, so it's not a big deal. Does lose uh, his hogs to the skellies though, but he's got that back end wizard to help clean up. And with all those Valks and Queen left up, it's no problem. Very nice job, man. Alright, next up we're going to show Ruin down. Oh, just on 21. This will be a Queen Walk Go Ho. Starting out in the southwest. Gonna speed this up a little bit using a whiz to help funnel. It's under a couple point defenses, but no big deal. Queen starts ahead to the towards the north, but she's actually gonna come back down to the south. His kill squad starting in the north uh, northwest. He's going to pop a rage for his queen after the ability. This kill squad's got a hound to deal with, but that's not really an issue. Uh, he's going to drop the jump right there to get everything moving, access the queen. Queen's doing down. Queen's doing okay down south for now. Uh, yeah, the kill squad is still doing some work in this base. He's got 18 hogs left, but there's not much left. Now his queen, she's going to go down right right about now, but all the air defenses are down, so there's really no threat to his healers, and those healers can just heal those hogs. He dropped a heal spell at the end there, but he really didn't need that. He could have just swagged that. We had another attack by, uh, by Bendover on one of the Town Hall 11s, where the queen died, but the Valks... Sorry, the healers peeled off and helped out the Valks. So sometimes the queen dying is not the end, of the end of the world, and those healers can be better utilized in other areas of the attack. Alright, so our last hit is going to be a destruction on their 23. This one's probably my favorite attack because of this Zapquake right here. So he zapquakes that air defense when the queen is on it. She's only level 12, so she's almost dead. He's actually going to wait about 10 seconds for the queen to walk on this next air defense. And then zapquake her, boom, she's dead. And now both of those air defenses are within the quake, so that's dead. He has one quake left over, so he just uses it to soften up the expo and the air defense up north. And now he's going to start with this, uh, this Lalan deployment from the east. So he's got two in the first air defense. Got dropping in some loons while the hounds tank. That air defense is about to go down right now. Sends in his third hound and more loons. CC hound coming in. Loons in the northwest were having some trouble, so send in a few more loons. They're converging very nicely on that expo. I uh, still got hounds up. Or just sorry, just one hound. Hound goes to the cannon, so he sends in a loon to take out that Tezza for free. He's got a huge clump of loons heading towards the wizard tower. He meant to save that last loon for a decoy on the wiz tower. Uh, didn't actually matter. The loons were able to survive the wiz tower. Plus he had a whole bunch of other ones, so he just smashed his base. So many loons left at the end. And the best part about this, he has not deployed his heroes. Look at that. 
20, 30 heroes that could have been used for a cleanup, and he just completely swags them. Doesn't even drop him at the end, because he just crushes base so quickly. His other attack, he tried to swag his heroes. It was a similar, you know, quad Lalo and double zap quake, where he took out the queen with the zaps, but he was running a bit low on time, so he dropped his heroes for cleanup. So, either way, very nice job for destruction. Uh, that's about all for now. I don't want to make this recap too long. Very nice job, guys. Uh, if we're looking to our current war, we're up against last two resorts. And these guys have 199 wins. And they are a very strong fair play clan. So we are looking to deny them that 200th win and get us our third win in a row against some very strong opponents. So that'll do it. Uh, peace out, guys.